Hey guys, Horror Man, back for another review. So today we're going to take a look at the Friday the 13th Part 5 A New Beginning Ultimate Jason figure. Now this is made by NECA Toys, and it's actually based off of the dream sequence in which Tommy sees Jason uh, in his dreams and uh, even hallucinates and sees Jason. So it's not really depicted on Roy as Jason, so just to make that clear. So just taking a look at the packaging here, get this really cool picture on the front. Uh, you can see the hockey mask is kind of lurking in the back here. Um, you don't really get that classic um, Part 5 uh, hockey mask cover like you saw with the VHS where the light's kind of coming through it. It's a bit of an alternate cover here. So you see this like young Tommy Jarvis here with the machete and the blood. Got the Friday 13th Part 5 logo, New Beginning. On the top you can see the hockey mask kind of in the rain, uh, or Jason in the rain. Friday 13th Part 5, New Beginning. Got a warning, it says ages 17 and up. On the bottom you just get the credits for NECA Toys and uh, some different logos. On the side, you get that same image that's on the top. It's just not cropped, so you can see Jason in the rain here with the uh, machete. You got the NECA Real Toys logo, Friday 13th logos. Same thing on the back, or I mean on the other side. Um, and then on the back, you see uh, Jason in all his glory, and you see all this different lightning and everything, and the uh, Jason Voorhees. Um, gravestone and I really like this picture of young Tommy on the back here in the coat and then you get a little read up of Friday the 13th the new beginning if you want to go ahead and pause that now if you just go around to the front again you can actually pop open the, the uh, flap get this cool picture of the dream sequence Jason kind of coming out of his grave and then you get to see Jason with all the different accessories and interchangeable parts. And if you look closely, it kind of looks like he's in a grave. So pretty cool looking figure. Uh, let's go ahead and get this out of the package and get a closer look. All right, so once you pop the lid at the top, you just want to um, basically remove this flap. It's basically the background. And you could pull this clamshell out and that backdrop. And you can see the figure is resting in a tray. Now, I've already undone the twisty tie. Uh, and then just the first thing to kind of take a look at is this really cool backdrop. It's not the usual backdrop we get because it's actually the inside of Jason's casket. So I really like how they did that. And you can see the rain kind of coming straight down on top of it. So really cool little addition. All right, so once you get Jason out of the packaging, this is pretty much what you're left with. Uh, very cool looking figure. Um, so the first head sculpt he has is the head sculpt with the worms coming out. So let's go ahead and get a closer look of that head sculpt. All right, so here is that nasty old worm head sculpt. And man, this is really, really cool. Uh, you can see the hockey mask is all dirty and weathered and it's got like rain kind of dripping on it. Um, but the worms coming out of that mask are just so freaking nasty. This is really, really cool. Um, and besides those creepy worms, uh, you can see he does have like the cut in the side of his head where uh, Tommy hit him with that machete. You can see the axe cut in the mask and at the top from part three. Um, just all the different damage that Jason done uh, in his first five movies. So just really sick looking uh, head sculpt. But uh, definitely something we had never seen before. I love it. So you do get several head sculpts to choose from, uh, four in total. Um, besides this worm one, we're going to take a look first at this other uh, kind of rained on weathered mask. Um, so to get that, you just want to pop this head off, which is very simple, just on that straight peg. Uh, and you got the hole in the bottom of the other head. And you just want to pop that on. And it goes on very, very smoothly. Uh, but this is a really cool uh, head sculpt here. It's basically the same head sculpt for the most part. Uh, it just doesn't have the worms coming out of it. So almost the same exact paint job. 
uh, but it just has that kind of weathered look with it just looks like it's been rained on and uh, buried so pretty cool the eyes are blacked out now one thing about this Jason is that none of the hockey masks are removable for this figure so the mask will not come off I wouldn't even try to pry it off um, so that is one thing unique about this figure uh, all the different masks are basically you know they're glued on or they just they're not removable all right and here's the next interchangeable head now this one is not actually from that beginning of the movie with that dream sequence like you know the first two are uh, this is more from Tommy's um, like daydreams or like hallucination where he sees Jason I believe he sees him in the mirror and then he just kind of sees him standing in a couple different spots something like that uh, but this was during his like regular I guess daydreams or just like hallucinations you know he's in a medical mental hospital so he's kind of lost it from this whole experience so he's just like seeing some stuff um, but yeah I really like this one it's a bit more like human uh, version of Jason you know from when he was actually fighting him uh, so you can see the blood is really dripping down the mask and that's just what he looked like um, in the movie now the one thing I always thought that was weird about this is the axe cut is from part three uh, but I do know his sister uh, Tommy's sister did hit him repeatedly in the head with like a hammer so it could be blood also from that um, and I like the little uh, marking on the mask so pretty well done but you could tell that this one's not like out in the rain like uh, the other one so pretty cool it's it's a toss-up but I really like uh, these two masks probably the best all right and the fourth and final mask is this really really unique um, now if you remember the movie uh, you know new beginning Friday 13th part 5 uh, they did have a VHS cover and a couple posters where this mask was actually on the cover of it. And I think this was kind of like a dead giveaway that it wasn't Jason because the mask was completely different from the, the mask that Jason had wore in the uh, previous four movies. So this was basically on the cover. Jason never wore it. Matter of fact, nobody ever wore it. Um, besides uh, Clark in uh, Christmas Vacation and the guy from uh, Mad Max. Both of them actually had the same mask. But Jason never wore it. It was just on the cover and it was pretty unique. So I, th I just think that it's really cool they actually included this uh, with this Jason figure. So pretty wild. And again, this mask is not removable. Now even though the masks aren't removable on this figure, if you have the part four, the ultimate part four, Jason, um, or even the ultimate part three, Jason, you can still interchange the heads with this figure. Uh, the part four is uh, obviously going to be better. Um, but yeah, if you want to put the ultimate part four head with the removable mask on this dream sequence, Jason, that's definitely an option. All right, now besides the mask and the head sculpt, um, this is a really detailed figure. And I think the one thing people are really going to notice with this figure compared to some of the other NECA Jasons is there's a really wet, like, gloss on uh, the whole figure, really. And that's to kind of simulate um, that he's been out in the rain for a long time. And you can see that detail goes really well all throughout the figure, especially um, with that shirt. You can see how wet it is. It's kind of hard to get on uh, camera, but I think when you you know we'll have it and if you if you buy it you'll have it in person you can really see uh, the differences between this and the part four Jason um, and then the rest of the body you know you get that same type of uh, gloss on here and then on, on the legs you can see just some like um, some hints of like bloodstained clothes kind of like soaked in you can see there like on his thigh so really good details in here. The boots are well done. Pretty much like the same as you'd expect uh, at this point for one of these NECA Jason figures. Good details in the pants. I mean, overall, it's it's very similar to what we've seen already. Um, 
with the part three and part four figures the, the body really doesn't change dramatically um but the overall paint and details of this one are definitely what really stand out now i've already reviewed these figures quite a bit uh those neck adjacent figures so i mean i really don't want to get too much into the articulation but it's pretty much what you would expect from a neck adjacent at this point head moves good you do have nice uh head pivot or head tilt in here to give you some expression um the arms will go out pretty far he still does not have a double joint in his elbow i wish they would improve that uh, you know, there's good range of motion in the hands. That is one thing I want to talk about also with this one is the hands and wrists are much better painted, uh, just like the Ultimate Part 4, far better than the original Jason figures. The wrists and hands tend to not match as good, uh, but these were done really, really well. Very creepy. So just great detail in those hands. Uh, and then just getting back to that articulation again, you got some, you know, waist swivel here. You can crunch, ab crunch a little bit. Good range in the legs. About as much as you need uh, for a Jason figure. Now, besides the interchangeable heads, you also get an interchangeable hand, which is very nice. Um, now, if you remember in Friday 13th Part 4, Jason does have his left hand cut almost in half and you can really see um how bad it was really cut here you got like the split going right down the middle of the hand blood all coming down um great detail on the reverse side as well um so yeah tommy's sister basically uh basically almost cut jason's hand in half uh so if you want to put that hand on it's really simple we just uh i'm gonna pop this hand off all right, and once you get the hand on, it should look something like that. So pretty gruesome. Um, you can kind of see, you can kind of look at his hand there a little bit, see all the blood coming out of it. So pretty cool. I really like that they included this. It's definitely something that they kind of missed with the Ultimate Part 4. All right, and you can see here that it will fit the Ultimate Part 4 figure pretty well. Um, definitely completes that that release if you had it um, already uh, if you buy this figure you'd definitely be happy to have that accessory so aside from the interchangeable parts you do get a few accessories here not an abundance of weapons but considering this is based off of a dream version of jason i think you got a pretty good amount of accessories um, so the first thing you're going to get is the jason gravestone which is something that we've never got um, i don't think we've got this from any company uh, but you basically have this cheap uh, Jason <laughs> gravestone. And this is what it looks like in the movie. It's basically just a few pieces of wood uh, connected with these other thinner pieces of wood. Um, now, of course, this is really plastic, but it gives a really good illusion of looking like, uh, you know, pieces of wood. So you see Jason Voorhees is just kind of painted on. Uh, and then you have the grass and just like kind of dirt all around it. So pretty cool. Um, pretty cool little piece you don't get a lot of diorama pieces from NECA these days so it's nice to have that uh, the main weapon you see him with is this axe uh, and I think they've done a really good job there's a lot of blood on here which is exactly fitting uh, perfectly fitting for this movie it was a very bloody movie I uh, got some wood grain in the handle but yeah I really like the blood work on that you also get this ice pick which is also done very nicely some good detail in there got a little flat piece on one side and of course you got the pick it's a pretty violent weapon uh, and then the final accessory you have is just a clean machete and you kind of see him with it at the uh, beginning of that dream sequence but you see him with the axe uh, particular uh, particularly when he's wearing this outfit all right, and here he is wielding the axe. Now, he doesn't have a second gripping hand, but since it's open, like in a relaxed position, you can kind of rest the axe in that uh, left hand. So it looks really cool. And man, I tell you, I really love the details in the bloody hands. Oh my gosh, you could really see the blood on here. Again, this camera does not do this uh, figure justice. If you see it in person, the paintwork is just, uh, it's really good. 
And here he is with the machete, and you can see he holds it very well. And here he is holding the ice pick. And you can see he holds it pretty good. I even got his thumb to kind of be on the very uh, top of the handle here. So for the first comparison, here is the ultimate new beginning dream sequence Jason next to the ultimate part four Jason. And they are very, very similar, uh, especially in terms of the bodies. Um, but the paint differences really separate these figures. I mean, if you look at the uh, shirts on here, especially, you can see like how wet the paint looks. And then this one's a bit more just dirty and it's really not like as obviously as wet looking. Um, and then the pants are just a little bit different in terms of color. And it's mainly just because, again, the you know, he's out in the rain, uh, it just made the pants look more soaking. So of course the color kind of changes a little bit. And here he is next to the Ultimate Part 2 Jason and the Ultimate Part 3 Jason. So you can see how much different Jason has changed over time. And here he is next to Jason from Freddy vs. Jason and Jason from the 2009 remake. Here he is next to Freddy Krueger, which is the Ultimate Freddy Krueger from Part 1 and the 1990 version of Michelangelo from the movie. And for the final comparison, here is the Dream Sequence Jason next to the Chainsaw Clark version of Clark Griswold from Christmas Vacation. Alright, so that's my review of the Ultimate Friday the 13th Part 5 New Beginning Jason Voorhees Dream Sequence figure. Uh, so pretty cool figure, guys. Um, I know people were kind of tired of buying this Part 4 design, um, but I love Friday the 13th Part 4. It is my personal favorite. And the fact that we get all these extra parts to kind of switch in between the figures is fantastic. Um, I love the four uh, interchangeable heads. It's definitely a lot for a Jason figure. And it's kind of something we've seen with NECA lately with like Chucky, uh, Pennywise. A lot of these figures are just getting a ton of different interchangeable parts. And it's just really like you really get your money's worth for a $20, $25 figure. Um, but yeah, I love the accessories. Now, if you do get just this Jason, you don't have any other Jasons, just keep in mind that none of these masks are removable. So they're just interchangeable heads, which you see is what you get. Um, so I would still recommend owning a part four. And I think this would be a great piece to kind of coincide with the other release. You know, you really can interchange the parts. Um, but great figure overall. Love the paintwork. I think there's a couple little step ups in terms of the legs not being wobbly and things like that. Um, I do wish they would have made the nails a little bit better. With part four, he had these really dark, like black, kind of dirty nails. But with this figure, you really don't get that same paint on the nails. But I do love the blood that you get on the hands, the blood on the work on the faces or the heads, I mean, and just that gloss of that really like wet rained on look it's just really really great work so i managed to pick this figure up at monster mania a few weeks ago um but i did see him at target yesterday so i think most places will pretty much have this jason at this point uh, and you can expect to pay about 25 dollars or more for it um gamestop should have it just different collectible shops should have it and of course neca's own page um, so thanks for watching my review. Uh, I've been pretty busy lately. I uh, had my dad's uh, memorial um, last weekend. I had Monster Mania a few weekends ago, and I even went to the New York Comic Con in between all of this. So I've been pretty busy lately, uh, but I really am trying to get back into reviews. I'm sure some of you know that my dad passed recently, so I've been kind of uh, taking it easy. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching my review. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I got some more reviews coming very soon. I uh, should have two this week. Um, but yeah, like this video, leave me a comment or question if you have one. And until next time, guys, see ya. <laughs>